Howdy folks, welcome to another beautiful yet very cold Monday afternoon out here in West Vancouver. It's minus four degrees Celsius. So um, I thought in today's video I'll answer a couple of questions that David Clawley put on as a comment on our, my previous video about, um, you know, 23 months later and what I think of the decision to move here. And David basically had two main questions. The first one was, um, I have stayed in the US and would I, if I had the opportunity, rather have stayed in the US or moved to Canada? So, you know, um, in other words, which do I think is better, the US of Can or Canada? That's what I read into that. And the second question was, um, would I, should I, if I had the chance, would I immigrate earlier and why? Or should I have immigrated earlier or should we have immigrated earlier and why? And I'm going to answer the second one first. The short answer is yes. Um, in hindsight, I, wished we had, I wish we had left a long time ago and we have started this, the, the process to settle down a long time ago. That would have had lots of benefits to us. Number one, it would mean that we are already settled by now. Uh, number two, it would have also meant that we would have left South Africa at a time when the RAND was stronger, which would have made the transition a lot easier. I mean, if we left in 2008, the RAND was at 8 RAND to the dollar. When we left in 2016, the RAND was at 16 RAND to the dollar. So in other words, our RANDs bought us half the dollars over on this side. Further to that specific one, uh, would we have left, should I have left earlier and... Um, why <laughs> as um, you know our story is a little bit unique because we didn't so much want to come to Canada as get out of South Africa um, our journey started literally in at the end of 2014 when we were in the US we were traveling through the US on a road trip and we realized on how things work in the Western world. And we also realized how little our money can buy for us in the Western world. All of this money that we make in South Africa that we feel so proud of. And then we get here and it's like, man, it's peanuts compared to what you need to live here. Um, and at the same time, you know, it was a time we had our own family business where there was just a number of things. Number one, safety. We had... Um, there was a lot of robberies. We had some violent incidents uh, a couple of years before. I mean, we lived in a house with 32 security cameras. We didn't feel safe in South Africa. And then the second part was we had our family business and it was doing well. I mean, we weren't, we weren't struggling. We were doing well. It was a good business. But we did business with a lot of the large corporates and unfortunately what happened was it, it's, you know, the, the BEE empowerment rules or um, whatever it's called. I mean, it's there for a good cause, but it had a negative impact because to continue doing business with these corporates, we had to give away or part with a larger and larger share of our family business, our company. Um, to the extent where it got to where we had to give up control of the company in order to carry on doing business with these large corporates and it was just not you know it just wasn't for us well it was either that or we had to start using some backhanded ways and trade through intermediaries and stuff like that and it's just you know it just wasn't just wasn't fun anymore it just wasn't what we signed up for so we sold the company and we decided to leave south africa or well we decided to leave south africa so we put the company up for sale, sold the company, and in 2016 left. The second part of the, the second part that I kind of regret from there is that when we left South Africa, we didn't immediately decide where we want to settle down, and we didn't immediately start the process. We were. Um, we were traveling and we were living in the US a little bit and we were living in we went to Mauritius for a month and we were living in South Africa for a bit so we were kind of all over the place and and I think it was <laughs> in hindsight I suppose I think it was fear because we were fear of being rejected because you know we were worried we're gonna apply somewhere and then we're not gonna get in and it was um, and we weren't struggling so you know we, we we could travel and and do that life for quite a long time i mean we did that from 2016 right up till 2020 when the pandemic struck 
and that's when we actually finally made the decision to settle down so the answer to your second question should we have done it earlier yes i regret that we didn't do it earlier and i regret that it took so long for us to decide where we're going to settle and to get everything in place because we just get older and older and obviously you know time flies um, it leaves us less time to build up a new life and to build up everything over here again now for the first part of your question basically i mean you you phrased that would we have stayed in the us or would we still have moved here i think the first part of your question basically boils down to what do i think is better the us or canada and um i don't know i really i, I i'm I, I really can't just shout an answer to that it really depends on circumstances you know um the us is definitely more cost effective to live in that's you know rentals are cheaper um but also not everywhere because if you look at the us well actually you know what let me answer it this way i'm going to break it down into two separate sections us versus canada benefits and and then and then i'm going to break it down to tampa where we lived in florida and vancouver so firstly us versus canada the us obviously has got a bigger market so if you're looking for opportunities yes there's a lot more opportunities over there there's 350 million people um, sales are better there amazon works better there you can buy anything in the us you can get your hands on anything so if you are a um, you know if you're a tinkerer if you like doing things if you uh, you're an innovator I would say that the US is a great place to go for that because you just have so much more access in the US access to money access to to knowledge access to literally everything there's a lot going on in the US not selling Canada short though you know Canada has got its own very strong grants for um, businesses and innovation and R&D I mean Canada is very much like the US the US housing, generally you can find cheaper housing because it is so big and there's so much going on. But I mean, if you go to, to um, San Francisco or New York or some of those places, you're going to pay the same prices as you are in Vancouver. It's not going to make a difference, you know. Um, but I think overall in Canada, housing and expenses are higher than in the US. Having said that though, in Canada, healthcare is covered, which is great. In the US, healthcare is not. You have to pay extra for healthcare. I mean, my partner in the US currently pays, I think it's $560 a month just, and that's US dollars, just for health insurance that gives him a basic hospital plan. So if something happens to him, they will look after him. It doesn't give him doctor's visits and all kinds of other stuff. So, you know, the one to the other I think very much the same we're happy with Canada um, but the US I think do have does have more opportunities just like that um, now let's go back to Tampa versus Vancouver now there's quite a big difference I mean Tampa Florida was a lot cheaper to own property than Vancouver I mean a lot cheaper our house in Tampa 2400 square foot three bedroom uh, three story house with an elevator four bedrooms and a, a study and double garage and like I mean the whole kit as a duplex in a complex with tennis courts gym two swimming pools I mean it was a really cool place um, we sold the house at like 250,000 US dollars in that house yeah yeah i can't even buy a one bedroom apartment for 250,000 US dollars it's just not available so in other words yes property was a lot cheaper in tampa i believe the prices have gone up now and those same properties now sell at about 400 so yeah there's been an increase there as well as here so tampa was definitely cheaper the weather in tampa was hot which is markedly different to this um, I mean Canada is obviously a lot colder Tampa you know you might have a week of like 
two or three or five degrees Celsius, but for the rest it's like, it's, um, it's hot, it's summer. So I think as South Africans you would fit in much better in Florida, in Tampa, because of the heat, you know, we're not used to the cold. Um, it's, um, it's a very humid heat though, so it does get a little bit stifling sometimes. But then again, you've got air cons, you know, you've got all of that in the house. Um, positives about Canada, about Florida is definitely cost of living and availability of stuff. I mean, <laughs> you can, you, we had a, a 24 hour Walmart down the road. So if you wake up four o'clock in the morning and you feel like you need eggs or you need something, you can drive to Walmart and go and purchase it. There's a 24 hour Walmart literally uh, was about five blocks away from us so yes availability of stuff is a lot more it's easier to travel around with your car it's more open spaces and it was nice Tampa was definitely one of my favorite places to live um, that we've been at it was definitely one of the coolest places I love Tampa um, Vancouver though is much more beautiful um, you know florida is kind of hot and flat and you've got those trees and the bushes and the ponds and everything and you've got the the gulf of mexico there which in my opinion isn't much of an ocean sorry about sorry florida um you know it's just like a really warm bath with little waves it was <laughs> it's not that great to go to the ocean there um yeah, yeah it's not i mean I love this the mountains and the trees and the it, it's just much more beautiful out here in Vancouver I really enjoy that the second thing is there's a much better public transport system here where we are the kids can go everywhere with buses and trains and things like that we didn't have that in Tampa you were ubering or taxiing and that cost a significant amount of money we did the uh, we didn't have such a great transport system there um, people are friendly in Tampa, they were there and they are very friendly over here, so we find that nice. Um, it's actually a toss-up. I would have probably stayed in the US if I could have stayed in the US. Not taking anything away from Canada and Vancouver, we absolutely love it here and because Canada accepted us and is giving us PRs, we are going to become Canadian citizens in heart and soul. You know, that's who we are. We love it. We enjoy the place. Um, but I'm pretty confident that if um, when we had to make the choice, if the path to citizenship or green card in the U.S. was easier and clearer for us, we probably would have stayed in Tampa. It was a cool place. Of course, you know, one of the key, th one of the worries in, in, in the U.S. were the school shootings. And then in Florida, you've got the hurricanes, you know, those kind of things that we don't have over here. So, yes, there's also a few, um, a few things that worried us to a certain extent. I mean, the U.S. is safe, but you do have those little school shootings that for some, some reason seems to be happening over there, which is absolutely nuts. But anyway, um, so yeah, I hope that answers your question. I'm actually more confused after the video than before. But anyway, so in short, yes, I should have immigrated earlier. And two, if we had the opportunity to stay in the US, we would have stayed in the US. We do love the fact that in Canada there are so many South Africans that there are literally five South African stores within an hour's drive from us over here, which helps a lot. In the US you didn't have that. But then again in the US you had the Amazon. Amazon Prime in the US was freaking fantastic. I mean, you could order literally anything and have it delivered the same day almost, most of the time. It was just it was crazy. I mean, so yeah, we didn't go to the South African store. We just ordered whatever we wanted from South Africa off of Amazon and some dude will come drop it off, which was great. All right, guys, that's enough from me. You all have a good one. Cheers.